hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel my name is k shine and thank you so much for clicking on this video today you already know your girl is back with another video based on the title you know exactly what i'm about to talk about make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram and tiktok at k shine with three e's but without further ado let's hop right into this video let's go i keep looking at dash because he looks so cute right there but all right y'all so boom y'all know exactly how i like to start my story times off we about to take it back to high school okay and it's so funny because like me and my cousin cannot agree on this story to this day even though like i don't know why she don't want to face the fact that i'm telling the truth but we gonna get into it right okay y'all so when I was in high school, right, my older cousin, I'ma just call her cousin. Y'all probably know which cousin, but y'all don't need to know the name. It, it, it's not that deep. But me and my cousin went to the same high school, right? So she was a year, she yeah, I think she was a year ahead of me. I think, or was she two years? Then, cause I forgot, I forgot, I, I forgot if he was two years or one year, but whatever. She was, I think she was two years though. So, we went to the same high school. So, you know, you go to the same high school with your cousins, stuff. Sometimes, not all the times, but for the most part, y'all have, like, the same friends or y'all hang around the same people. Or you know her friends and she know your friends, right? Okay, so listen. I told y'all about the house. And y'all be so mad when I be mentioning my house with the pool and stuff like that. Like, yo, why you keep mentioning what? Like, I had, uh, like, three comments talking about how I kept mentioning it was from a guy. So, I think you just mad because you didn't have no pool in your backyard. Listen, I'm from the hood. So, we learned to appreciate everything. So, when we came out that hood and we had a pool in our backyard, I am very grateful and I was very happy. And if y'all don't know, I'm a cancer. I'm a water sign. So, any type of pool, I'm in love with. So, if I want to mention my pool, I can mention my pool. You need to start mentioning them kids. You ain't take okay, never mind. Cause somebody just told me, can can I stop going on the baby daddies and I can I start talking about these dead be baby mamas? Listen, like I told that person in the comments, I only come for people who come for me. I don't I don't get a lot of negativity from males, so I can't talk about their baby mamas. You get it? I only get the negative okay, okay, stop talking about it. Anyways, y'all. So yeah, so this is the big house. This is the house. This is the first house we had when we left the hood, right? So we had a pool, we had a trampoline like this. This backyard was the biggest backyard I ever seen, okay? And I'm not being dramatic about it, whatever. So a lot of people used to want to come over and I used to want my friends and stuff to come over because what else we gonna to do in the summertime y'all talk about we i hang out with boys too much okay well we gonna go get in the pool every day right everybody we come over like we have a nice little backyard little shindigs you know what it is so my mama was going out of town right so well it don't matter why she was going out because i was about to tell you but the, that's gonna be too much tea so my mama was going out of town for this one weekend y'all already know we in high school your mama going out of town oh baby y'all know what time it is right well, actually, y'all don't because this was my freshman year, right? So, I think when I was a freshman, I was like 14, right? So, my cousin was 16. So, I think she was two. I think she was. Um, She was a junior. I think I was a freshman. Well, I know I was a freshman. She was a junior because she was. I was 14. She was 16, right? So, my two older sisters at the time, y'all know I'm the young. Well, I was the youngest at that time. So, my two older sisters, they both worked, right? And they worked at night. So, you know, and, and it's cool because my cousin go try to deny this part. But, y'all, for whatever reason, she do not want to admit that she was the mastermind behind this. And I don't know why. So, my older cousin, you know, well, she's older. So, and she used to be with, at our house a lot because where she lived was far from our high, from the high school we went to. I live right around the corner from the high school. So, you know, when we would get out of school, she would just come to my house or whatever because we right around the corner, right? So, she would always be at the house. So... Of course, she's spending the night this weekend. My mama going out of town. My two older sisters going to work. So, my cousin come to me. Yes, you did, cousin. And she's like, we should have a party this weekend. <laughs> Hold up. It's just only funny because I already know if she watched this video, y'all, she's going to deny, deny, deny. And I know y'all probably going to think like, y'all should have told the story together. No, I don't do those types of things. But whatever. So, next thing you know, she we put all that together, right? So, she's like, we should have a party this weekend. So, I'm like, no, nah, girl, like, because, you know, I knew a lot of people, but this was my freshman year, so I'm not thinking about no parties and stuff like that, because I'm always thinking, like, what if nobody come? What if, you know, I, I don't know, I don't want everybody in my house, right? Like, that's what I'm thinking. So, so she like, 
No, I know it's going to be cool. Like, you know, your sisters and stuff going to be gone. I'm going to invite all my people. You invite all your people. It should be enough. People should be a nice amount for a little kickback, a little party. So, I'm literally, I remember telling her, like, I don't know, y'all. Because, like, I did at this time, this would have been my first thing that I've done that's, like, you know, well, not my first thing I've done, but something as big. Like, I never just do a party while my parents was gone or something. So, like, I was low-key nervous. So, I'm like, I don't know. So, I'm thinking, like, I'm not telling people because my thing was, if it flopped I didn't want to be like responsible for having like I just got into high school I ain't trying to be known for being the person at the whack ass party so I'm thinking like no if it flopped I don't want no parts of it so I'd rather somebody else throw it <laughs> and then you know I helped them out with it but you know, she's trying to convince me that you know it can happen so I'm like I don't know I'm just I don't know so that was Thursday right that we was thinking about it or that she was thinking about it trying to convince me so the next day I go to school which is Friday well, we both go to school. I'm telling my one friend now. My one friend, shout out to you, girl. I love you. Yo, what's your name gonna be? Tia. I'm gonna just call you Tia for this. My one friend, Tia. She she get around, okay. But I love my friend, so that's on her. If she wanna get around. That's her high school year. She could do whatever she want with her body, okay. They say your body, your choice. So if she wanna give it to ten niggas. That's gonna be on her, okay. But anyways, so my one friend. Um, Tia, it's like, if you, she that friend that, if you tell Tia, you gotta have, you gotta do it. Because Tia gonna tell everybody, like, Tia gonna spread the tea, okay? He's so cute, I just love him. Mm. Hi, Papa. I love you. Anyways, okay, I know, right, you love me too, I love you. Anyways, so, if you tell Tia, Tia gonna tell everybody, right? So, I was just talking to Tia and my other two friends, like, yeah, my cousin's talking about throwing a party, I don't know. So, you know, they like, yeah, like, you should do it, like, do it, like, yeah, let's have a party this weekend, like, come on, we gonna help you plan it and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. So, y'all, I remember, literally at lunch, this one boy came up to me and was like, uh, yeah, your cousin said it's a party at your house this weekend. I'm like, what? I don't really know. I He like, nah, because you know I was going to come and I was going to bring my homeboys. I'm like, oh, mind you. It ain't this weekend. I keep saying this weekend. She talking about tonight, like today, Friday, this Friday while we at school. So, you know, he like, we was going to stop by and stuff like you having it. So I'm like. Uh, I get and then my friend Tia, but then like, yep, yep, like it's gonna be a party tonight at K House. Tell everybody. I'm like, oh no, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up. So as the time going on throughout the school day, people is coming up to me like, yeah, is it a party at your house tonight? And I'm like, yeah, I think so. Like, like it ain't my house. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, I think so. I think it is one. So they like, okay, yeah, yeah, we gonna be there. So, so I finally see my cousin. I'm like, why are you telling people it's a party? Mind you, even though I had already, like, agreed when people was coming up to me, I was already telling them yes. But, like, this is my first time seeing her at school. So I'm like, why are you telling people it's a party? And she like, girl, I thought we said we was going to do it. Like, I thought you was okay with it. And I'm like, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, we talked about it. I didn't say yes, but I kind of didn't say no either. It's kind of was like... You know the cousin, you figure it out. Like, I don't know, even though it's my house, but shoot, this your auntie house, like what? We just laughing. So at this point, I kind of accepted my fate, and I'm like, all right. A lot of people already know, I might as well tell people it's a part. I might as well just accept what's going on. We just going to have to throw the party, okay? Like, my sisters and them, they're going to work at like 6, 7 p.m., one of those times. So I'm like... It is. We just have to figure it out. So my two friends and them, you know, they like, okay, we're going to come to your house after uh, school and stuff like that. We're going to go home and change and then come over there and help you get ready. I don't even really know what we was getting ready for because, you know, back in the day, house parties, you just, all you need is music. Like, we ain't doing no decorations. We not getting no food. Like, we high schoolers. I'm not feeding y'all. Um, we, at that time, I really couldn't get no liquor. So it's like, all I'm, I'm literally just giving y'all the basement and the speaker. Like, that's it. It's nothing to really get prepared for. Like, okay. Okay? And, you know, we so young, you're not even thinking, like, make sure your bathroom, clean. well, the bathroom's already clean, but you know when you have guests, you make sure your soap filled up, make sure the tissue on, or, like, you just really make sure we so young that we ain't making sure none of that shit. We just making sure, here go the basement, it's cleaned up, here goes some music, right? So, I'm like, you know, people, are, I'm just telling people now, like, whatever, okay, we having a party, everything good. School let out, 
I'm like, okay, cousin, yeah, we got to get to the house and start figuring shit out, right? My mama already left that morning, like that Friday morning while I was at school. She already left. So, you know, at this point, it's just my sisters at home. So, of course, they don't pay no mind to us when we get home. We go to the basement because the computer down there. And y'all already know what we do. We get the burning fucking CDs. What's a Bluetooth? What's an aux? We didn't know nothing about that back in the day. Like, no. We on LimeWire, downloading them songs, burning CDs, getting the songs together, whatever. So, we making CDs because, you know, that's what we used to do back in the day. So, we making our CDs and stuff. Got our twerking music on there, the dancing music, all of that. Like, we just hype. So, my basement was really, really big. So, we had a pool table. It was a, like a dining table. My mama had like an arcade. Y'all know the Pac-Man arcade games that you have like at an arcade place. We had one of those down there. She had she had like this little uh uh like this little bar table a little bit that you could put your wine glasses and stuff on. We had that. We had a refrigerator, a microwave, and then we had the like a sectional, a big sectional, our TV, and then the entertainment center that went like around the TV or whatever, and then a computer. So I'm like, okay, let me just move the couches. Because, you know, when the basement is big, you know, the couches is, like, in the middle. So I'm like, let's just move the sectional, like, to the side, like, on the wall. That way it can be a big open space, like a dance floor, right? So I'm pushing the, we push the couches back against the wall. I push the pool table, like, against the wall. Like, if they want to play, we could just move it. But, you know, I'm not thinking about nobody playing pool. So I'm pushing everything kind of, like, against the wall so we could just have this big open space. And then we go in our back room and we get, like, sheets and comforters and I like threw it on over the couch because I'm like you know I don't want anybody to spill nothing if they bring anything I don't want everybody just sit on our couch so I put them sheets on there and you know we could just wash the sheets or whatever so we cleaned up a little bit the basement wasn't really that dirty we burned our CDs so now we just it's a waking game so I'm trying to find an outfit that I could wear because you know I invited a couple cute boys there you know what I'm saying a couple crushes I had right so okay cool so while we looking for our outfit you know my sisters and them come in they like all right you know we about to go to work see y'all later but this is the thing right my cousin mama calls and she's like yeah cousin um i'm about to go out or something so you gotta watch your little sister tonight i know you fucking lying not the day that we trying to throw the party of the century and people came over and nobody gonna be sober not that not that night so my cousin like uh no like i'm busy i'm doing something and you know good when you 16 you can't tell your mom you busy and her mama like girl no you're gonna watch your little sister like i'm about to go what the hell are you talking about you busy you ain't got shit to do now and whatever you got to do ain't more important than what i got to do so she like yeah i'm about to bring your little sister over so we like oh my god like what are we gonna do so her little sister at the time was like let me see because now I'm 28 and she just had her 23rd birthday. So we five years apart. So if I was 14, she had to be about nine, right? So she was about nine years old, whatever. So um, she wasn't little, little, but she, well, yeah, little sister, nine. So we like, oh my God, what we going to do? Because at this point, we already ready. We already told people, there's no way we could just cancel this party. Like, you know when stuff is word of mouth, it ain't like you could text everybody and tell them it's no longer going on. No, like they already know to just come. So I'm like, what are we going to do? Like, we can't find nobody else to babysit her. Like, what well, we can't just. And then at that time, I wasn't driving. I don't think my cousin had a car. I don't think so. So we couldn't just drop her off nowhere. We had to figure it out. So we just sitting there. Next thing you know, uh, her mom and her little sister pull up. So we got our, we got my little cousin, right? So she come in. So we just over here applying. Like, I'm like, uh, cousin, you gonna have to tell her. Like, she just gotta stay in the room. We gonna feed her, and like if she come out, we just gonna have to bribe her, right? Like we gonna have to just bribe her to not tell on us, or just make sure she stay in the room, get her her snacks, her food, games, toys, whatever she want, and let her just be in the room. Hopefully she don't come out, and hopefully she go to bed early. I mean, I know it's only like seven, but she'll go to bed at seven. I know it's the weekend, but no. So we thinking like, okay, we're going to do that. So when my little cousin come, you know, we're like, oh, are you hungry? What do you need? Like, we all trying to pamper her. Do you need anything? Are you thirsty? Are you hungry? You need back massage? Like, we try to be extra nice because it's like, baby, we need you on our good side because don't go telling on us, okay? So cool. My little cousin come. Next thing you know, my friends and them pull up. Tia pull up and my other two friends. So they all excited. You know, everybody got their leggings on. Y'all know leggings used to be the twerking clothes back there. Like, you put some leggings on, you know you about to shake that ass, okay? So. 
everybody got their little leggings on with their little crop top stomach out okay so everybody just in a good mood so they come so we are just hyped so i'm putting on the music i'm telling them like look this with all the music i download and burn so they all excited like yes like everybody gonna be lit off these songs da, da, da. so we all hype we talking about it so we go upstairs and i'm like okay because i we had a sliding door so the way the house was it was the half bathroom right there you know it was like a little you know when you first come in the doorway the door and then downstairs to the basement now the sliding door was between the half bathroom and the kitchen so i liked it that way because i literally could just close the sliding door we got the basement the side door and the bathroom on this side so it's no it's absolutely no reason for nobody to go past this sliding door into the kitchen or anything because you shouldn't need nothing we got a refrigerator downstairs we got the ice machine downstairs we got water bottles downstairs we even got a microwave even though we ain't got no food but it's just nothing you're going to need on the other side of the sliding door right so we just kept closing the sliding door so we tell my little cousin like we about to go practice dance moves downstairs because low key it was a uh, cheerleading tryouts coming up or something like that. So we telling her like we about to go practice so don't come down there bothering us like just yell our name at the top of the stairs if you need something and we gonna come up right. This what we telling this nine year old little girl like you got food you got snacks and we like just don't bother us if you hungry you thirsty go ahead and go in the refrigerator if you need us to cook you something holler our name at the top of the stairs but don't come down there bothering us because we have to get this right. Right? so we can be on the team right we tell her this you know she all like okay okay whatever she don't care like we about to put on a movie or the show in my mama room and we're gonna put her in there and she's gonna be ducked off so we got her all set up in my mama room tv on snacks drinks we got uh, about four drinks lined up water capri sun a yogurt fruit like we got stuff lined up like baby here go your fruit snacks here go your oatmeal pies your honey buns your pringles cheetos this is you should be set for the night right the bathroom right next door to you if you gotta go use the bathroom but go back in right so we had her upstairs so the next thing you know people start rolling in they start rolling in so a few people came in so we downstairs like we just talking we are kicking it and i'm thinking like okay this is a cool like a, a lot of people that showed up first was like our actual friends so we was vibing like it was like a regular old kickback with your friends so i'm thinking like this is a nice crowd cool everything is good mind you i removed all the stuff that i think was like breakable like i took the pool sticks in the pool bars and i put that all in the back room the wine glasses that was on the shelf i put all of that in the back room we had like dvd players and stuff like that i removed all the stuff that just could get damaged i put all that in the back room right so we down there we listen to music we all in the circle dance and stuff the door just people just keep strolling in i'm like well wait a minute because after a while I had locked the door because I, I need to be in control of, I need to know who coming in and out. So I had locked the door. I just keep hearing knocks, knocks, knocks. So I'm like, okay, come more people coming in, more people coming in, more people coming in. I'm like, oh, well, wait, wait a damn minute. You know when you know you know a lot of people, but like, why did all y'all show up? Like, wait a minute now, like, hold up. It was just a lot of people coming in at once. So we like okay like more people coming in so everybody dancing we having fun so they start asking like where the liquor at i'm like the fuck who supposed to have the liquor because mind you i'm 14 why y'all asking me where the liquor at so they like you know some of the girls are like you ain't got no liquor here I'm like, you ain't bring no liquor here? Like, how you asking me? We in the same grade, and you talk about where the liquor at, but you can't get no liquor. So why you think I'm supposed to have liquor? Because I threw the party. Uh, I ain't never put no flyers out there saying, come get lit, come take shots with me, entry shot. Nah, I ain't do none of that. I didn't even, we didn't even have a flyer. We just told people. So I'm like, girl, I ain't got no liquor. So, you know, she like, dang, that's the only thing this party missing is some liquor or whatever. Let me tell y'all what my slow self did this is how you know i was just so not immature in a bad way but just you know i'm 14 so of course a lot of 14 year olds are immature but this is how you know i just really ain't know no better if y'all y'all know i'm sure a lot of y'all parents have a liquor cabinet or somewhere where they kick keep a lot of liquor my mom used to love Ciroc that's probably why i was drinking Ciroc once i got older um she used to love Ciroc so what I did, she used to keep a lot of bottles at a time or whatever, like different ones or whatever, or just different liquor too. Like he is so fucking cute. I love him. Look at him. But a lot of different types of liquor. You know, you gotta have your options, your light, your brown, whatever. This is what I go do. I can't take a whole bottle. Dash, you just exposing my whole setup. So she used to just have a lot of different like liquors up there and stuff. So this is what my slow stuff do, y'all. <laughs> I get a cup. 
And I knew I couldn't take a whole bottle because, like, if say she had five bottles, she gonna know if one missing and she only got four. Like, come on now. So I couldn't take a whole bottle. But this is what I did. I got a cup, a regular cup, and I poured some liquor in there enough where I, where I think she wouldn't notice any of it being gone because I feel like she would notice if a whole bottle was gone, but she wouldn't notice if like she had this much and now she got this much. You get what I'm saying? Because it ain't like she drink liquor every day. It's just like, oh, if she have a get a car night one day or whatever, like she's not going to really notice. So I don't know why I think, I don't know why I thought that it would be okay for me to pour a little bit of liquor in a cup and just pass it around. Like everybody get a sip. What the fuck was I thinking, y'all? Why did I think that was a bright thing? Like, people just going to be sipping. And why would I want everybody to just be sipping off this cup? Mind you, it wasn't our cup. It was a plastic cup. Like, we still had a plastic cup. But why would I think people want to sip out of these cups and just passing around? You know why I thought that? Because the motherfuckers did. When you young, y'all, I'm telling y'all. Y'all have to think. When y'all hear my story times about when I was in high school and stuff, that was like 12 years ago, okay? You have to think back 12 years ago stop thinking about now and how it's so nasty and germs and stuff like that and i would have never did that think 12 years ago you have to put yourself back in that time frame when we all was wearing leggings and crop top not saying we don't now but the type of music the type of things that we did when we was younger that we thought we was being grown but when you look back at it it's like oh you was immature you was acting like a kid think 10 plus years ago don't think now oh i would have never thought to do that i would have never yeah now of course you wouldn't now, but back then things were different. So before you judge and make a comment, think like, oh, back in the early two, 2000s or what I have did this. What a, think back then. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So we had this cup of liquor. So everybody just drinking. Not not literally everybody in the party because everybody wanted to ask for liquor. It was just my like group of friends that, you know, wanted some liquor like the girls that I knew. So they passing it around. We just drinking it or whatever. Barely getting a buzz because we're taking sips, y'all. Like, what the fuck are we about to do with this, right? So it's just like sips or whatever. So we barely get, getting a buzz. But at least it's something, okay? We look cool holding a cup, taking a sip of Ciroc, I guess, right? So anyway, we doing that. More people come coming in so mind you a boy that we kind of like i don't want to say we was talking because well we was we was wasn't we we was talking we was flirting but like we would talk every blue moon but we liked each other right my cousin invited her crush but we was all still young so like i would say we was acting like childish about it we like yeah cousin there go your crush go dance on him go dance on him like that and then my boo came and you know he coming he's older so when i was the fr okay no nah, because is y'all gonna try to judge my boo 14 and 17 don't be judging my boo okay like not too much i was i was i'm not gonna say i was grown but i knew what i was doing so don't be trying to be like oh my god what is a 17 year old what, what a 14 year old well when you're in high school you talk to people who are in high school okay he was a senior so he come with his cousin and stuff and they bring about him so we like okay whatever so i'm not gonna lie i didn't want to look you know you don't like when i talk about other people that's not your daddy do you mind you know, he, he don't like when I talk about other guys that's not his daddy. So, that's why he, he getting a little antsy a little bit. He don't really want me to talk about it. But I got to talk about it, son. I got to talk about it. Anyway, so. Yeah, so my crush was there. Don't start destroying my background. Are you throwing a temper tantrum? <laughs> Calm down. Anyways, so my crush was there. So, he come in. So, I'm all like, okay, I'm about to get him a dance. Because, you know, I'm being fast. Because I was being fast then leave me alone but so i get him a dance and stuff like that my cousin over there talking to her crush and the the party is going good the vibes is going good now let, let's go back to tia i told y'all tia is a little hoe she, she know that about her she would tell you she don't care so tia one of those people that it don't matter where when why what like she sees somebody she like she gonna try to take them to the bathroom do some strange for a piece of change now listen you could do all that but you're not about to do nothing strange for a piece of change in my house like, no. So, when I see that she's scoping the scenery out and she looking at this one boy from school, she trying to take this boy from school in my bathroom, in my half bath. Now, at first, I'm over there dancing on my little crush or whatever. So, when I look up, you know when you dance and you go to your friends to confirm if you fucked it up. Mind you, we 14 years old. So, give us a break. So, I'm going over there like, that. What, 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 how I looked. Like, did I, did I look like I was throwing the JCs? Like, what's going on? So, you know, they tell me like, yeah, girl, you killed that. Like, you all, you know, hyping me up. So, when I went to my friend group to see, I'm like, where the fuck T at? 
They're like, um, I think she went upstairs or whatever. I'm like, upstairs where? Oh, hell no. Because, you know, ain't nobody, even my friends not really allowed, like, past the sliding door. Unless they, like, needed something from me. But I'm like, upstairs. So, I go upstairs. I get to the um, top of the steps. It's like two people waiting in line for the bathroom. So, I'm like, what the heck going on? I hear the water running. So, I'm like, oh, no. So, I just already know. I get to knock on the door. I said, Tia. Get out of there. I'm not playing with y'all. I said, don't make me open this door. Because you know those bathrooms that all you had to do is just like a little slit. So, all you had to do is stick a knife in there and the door the, the door unlocked. It was one of those. So, I'm like, Tia, don't make me open this door. I already told you. I already proved told you. Don't do that. So, she opened the door. She in there with a guy. She like, well, like, we just had to use the bathroom. Like, she she wasn't able to do nothing yet. I said, girl, you better go to his car. You better do something. Because some people drove. Some people didn't. Because everybody, you know, just in the neighborhood. So, I'm like, girl, don't do that in my house. Like, I already told you, like, you my bitch. But, no, like, don't do that in my, not in my house or whatever. So, they, they went downstairs. So, the other people used the bathroom. So, it's like, as soon as I went up there, I slid the door. Because, you know, I'm, every, periodically, we're checking on our little cousin whatever so i slide the door open and i'm about to walk through the kitchen i hear footsteps like little footsteps running so me and my cousin like oh my god so we look and my little cousin try to hurry up and shut my mama room door so we like okay she must have been out the room like okay so we go in there we like look cousin what you doing did you need something so she like I hear a lot of people down there. What's going on? I'm like, no, we're just doing tricks and flips and practicing. So you probably hear like the YouTube videos, people. And my little cousin looking like, I know I'm not, but I'm not done. I'm like, well, why you can't be? Because we trying to lie to you and we need you to accept the lies. So we like, girl, so we like, just stop coming out. Like, just stay in here. Do you need something? And she like, no, I'm okay. I'm going to stay in here or whatever. So we like, yes, just stay. Whatever. So, we end up, you know, I'm making sure everything cool. I'm looking out the front door, make sure, you know, you know, everything good, cup steady. Cool. We end up going back downstairs, right? We go downstairs. So, I look and I'm like, where the hell is Tia? Like, I thought she walked downstairs before I was go check on my little cousin. Where she at? So, they're like, she went outside or something. So, I'm like, cool. Maybe she went, like, to his car to do some strange for a piece of change. I don't know. So, we're like, okay, cool. So, that she outside. I ain't with to go see if she was outside because she grown. She know what she doing. So, we back downstairs and stuff. So, everything good. The party going good. Everybody dancing and stuff. We having a good time. Now, listen. My boo, he going to talk about he want to see my room. Why you want to see my twin size bed, sir? Like, I'm 14. Why do you want to see my twin size bed and my SpongeBob room? Everybody in my family know I was obsessed with SpongeBob. I still love SpongeBob. I think that's one of the best cartoon shows ever, okay? Listen. So, I love Spongebob. So, my mama decked me out. I had a Spongebob garbage can. I had a Spongebob poster. Spongebob, um, I didn't have my comforter wasn't Spongebob, but like little throw pillows of Spongebob. Like, I just had a, um, I had a Spongebob curtain. Like, I'm still Spongebob out because I'm 14 years old, right? So, I'm thinking like, why he want to come see my fucking Spongebob room? Like, wait a minute. I didn't think this through. I'm over here trying to be grown and cute. And you about to come in here and see Spongebob everywhere. Like, and it's like when you open my door, the theme song start playing. So, I'm just like, imagine you open my. I ain't hitting them hard, y'all, but what are you doing? Do you see this goofy stuff? What are you doing? Like, you really just doing stuff. He's just doing shit. Anyways. But, yes, like, I just got Spongebob, so I'm trying to keep the lights low. But, mind you, I had a little lamp on my desk that was Spongebob. And don't, this is a good shirt. Do not bite on my shirt. I had a little lamp that was, and don't ever think I'm harming him, y'all. Dash skull is very thick. My little taps don't be doing nothing. Calm down, y'all. I do not call PPS on me. No pet protective services. I'm, he's okay. Anyways, so I had a little lamp that had a dimmer light, but it was like the Spongebob lamp. So, I'm trying to keep the lights off because you don't need to know... You, didn't, you don't need to realize how much Spongebob I have in this room, okay? Like, you don't need to realize that, right? So, I just turned my little lamp on that was very dim or whatever. So, I got my lamp on. So, you know, he looking around like, show me your room. I'm thinking like, nigga, this is it. Y'all know them four bedrooms. Um, Y'all know y'all get out. Well, when you get a regular ranch house, they got four bedrooms. Normally, the smallest room go to the smallest child. I'm sitting here in my 10 by 10. And you talking about show me your room. This It's shown. This is it, baby. Like, this is it. All I got up in here. Like, this is it, baby. All I got up in here is my twin size bed, my little 
dresser and you know i got another dresser over there on my tv you talk about show me around all you gotta do is do one little spin this is it baby like my room was so small y'all but whatever it was cool because when my sister moved out i ended up getting the bigger room and it was cool but anyways that little room was real small, but it was enough for me. I didn't have a lot of stuff anyway, so I ain't need no super whatever. Anyways, so he's like, okay. So, you know, he trying to spit game. He's like, let me see how if your bed is soft. I'm like, uh, yeah, just move the SpongeBob pillows and the SpongeBob character over to the side. Go ahead and, go ahead and lay on it. Like, being fast. And if you're going to judge me at 14, y'all, just click off the video now. Like, I'm up here trying to tell y'all about my life. And y'all want to be super judgmental about the things that I did back in the day. Everything is a learning lesson. Besides when you keep going back to your baby daddy. Because obviously you ain't learn. I, I'm just playing. Really. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to stop the baby daddy jokes. I don't care how much y'all get offended or y'all be mad about it. They're jokes. That's like telling a comedian. And even though I'm no comedian. That's like telling a comedian not to talk about certain stuff. They're jokes. Either you laugh at them or you don't. But I, I'm, it's not personal. Anyways. But um. Yeah, so I'm like, just move the SpongeBob stuff over, whatever. I'm trying to knock some of my little bears over on the ground, on the floor, whatever. So I'm like, yeah, sit down. So he sit on my bed. So you know, I sit on his, his lap, and we just talking and stuff. We just like, you know, just flirting, whatever. So then I hear like, it's like, you know, when you want to kiss somebody. And like I said, I'm young. So middle school, despite what y'all think, even though I hung out with guys and I did, I wasn't doing anything. Again, I wasn't kissing on everybody. I once, you no. Know, I wasn't giving up the box. I wasn't doing all of that. Yeah, we hung out with dudes, but we literally just hung out for company. Like, we didn't do all of that. So, even though I know y'all think I'm a hoe and I'm fast and I don't give a fuck about niggas and stuff. When it, No, it's not that. Um, it, so, when I was 14, of course, stuff is still fresh. So, I'm sitting on his lap and I want to kiss him because I really attracted him and I liked him. But, you know, so we just, it's just building up. I think even though, you know, he older, he's still in high school. So, we both just like, we a little nervous. Like, so, we just over there talking and we getting closer and closer. As soon as I was about to kiss this man, I hear banging on my door. And mind you, I'm only up in my room ducked off because my cousin downstairs, my cousin can handle the party. My She down there. So, it ain't like I had to be there to watch. I hear banging. So I'm like, oh my God, what, I'm getting up. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's the police. I don't know why I automatically thought it was the police, even though nothing was loud. The music wasn't super loud. It wasn't It wasn't giving none of that. And we always had backyard parties and the music be loud in the backyard. We never got complaints. So I'm thinking like, is this the police? Wait a minute, what's going on? So I hop up and I'm coming towards the door and my cousin coming up the stairs. So I know she like everybody like shushing down there. So I'm like, what's going on? So I see Tia and them by the door and Tia like, don't open the door. Uh-uh, don't open the door. I'm like, why? Like, what's going on? Is this the police? What's going on? He like, I was in the backyard like doing a nasty and my mama pulled up and caught me. So I ran in the house and locked the door. <laughs> Tia, I know you fucking lying. I know you lying right now. Baby girl, I know you lying. I said, no, you did no, you didn't. I said, that's your mama out there. I'm looking through the peephole. Of course, we all know each other, mamas and stuff, because we be at each other's house. I see T mama outside the door. So I'm like, T, you know, move. You better open up this door. She like, no, she been calling my phone and stuff, and I been ignoring her or whatever. So like, mind you, this ain't no black mama, okay? I'm going to just say that. I ain't trying to bring race into it, but black mamas handle stuff a little bit differently. This ain't no black mama, because if that been a black mama and her daughter locked her out, my door would have been kicked in, okay? So, it wasn't giving black mama. I'm going to just say that. But, so, I'm like, Tia, no, move. You got to go. Like, you you can't lock your mama outside. Like, what are you doing? Like, you can't do that. So, she like, girl, no, she'll be all right. She'll go away. So, Tia mama just banging on the door, and she like, I know y'all in there having a party. If you don't open up the door, I'm going to call the police and get this party shut down. And y'all going to get in trouble. So I'm like, ooh, ah, 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 Tia, you got to get out. You have to get out, baby. You got to get out. You got to get out. So I'm like, no, she said she's going to call the police. So Tia like, no, she ain't. She ain't going to call the police. She I'm like, baby, I don't want to call her bluff. She said she was. I'm not supposed to have this party. You got to go. I'd rather you go than everybody go, baby. Because first of all, this your mama. How you going to just lock her out? But that goes to show you they little setup, right? So my cousin saying the same thing. Like, yeah, Tia, go. You got to go, baby. Like, no, we got too much going on down here. We got liquor. I'm like, liquor, girl. We got a cup of liquor. Like, what? <laughs> they ain't even going to know what that is. So she like, no, nah, it's a lot going on. You 
gotta go. So Tia trying to go back and forth with us about not leaving, and we like, yeah, we ain't trying to hear all that, baby. Like you gotta go, like go. I'm like move, Tia, like move. So I'm trying to move and let her out. She's like, girl, no, I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm like, girl, you gonna get in trouble anyways. Like don't get us all in trouble. Get in trouble by yourself. Like I hate a bitch that get in trouble. I wanna bring the whole crew down. No, get in trouble by yourself. <laughs> You're already gonna get in trouble. There's no need for her to get us in trouble too. Like go. So she's like, man, man. So you know my other friends like, yeah, Tia, you need to go because we not ready to go home. Because we not ready to go home yet. So you're going to have to just go. So she like, oh my God, no. Like, for real, y'all. She going to stop knocking. I'm like, get the fuck out now. Go home, Roger. So I'm opening the door. And I'm like, hi, Miss T. And she's like, uh-uh-uh. T, get your ass out here. So she like snatched her up by the arm and took her out. And I'm like, yes, I hurry up and shut the door behind her. Because I'm like, yeah, take your ass. That's your fault. Because and basically, the only reason why the mama pulled up real quick backstory is because Tia was on punishment. She wasn't supposed to come out this weekend. So I don't know why Tia thought she could just leave the house knowing that I'm one of her closest friends. So it's only it's only like three houses Tia going to be at. Mine's and then the other two friends. So I don't know if the mama went to the other friends first. She probably came to mine first because she know Tia always over here with me. So if you knew your ass was on punishment, why would you leave the house? And more, and more importantly, why did you come here? Like, you came here, so that's why her mama pulled up like that. And then she just so happened to catch your goofy ass coming out the backyard. Or I don't know if she caught you doing stuff or she just caught you coming out with the boy. I don't know really what she caught her doing, but whatever. She just caught her coming out hand-to-hand -hand with some boy from the backyard or whatever. So, she probably looking like, why you the only one back there everybody else in the house? And then your goofy ass gonna run in the house and lock the door. How you gonna lock the door on your mama? Girl, what's wrong with you? So, anyway, so that happened. So, she ended up leaving. So, I'm telling people, like, yeah, y'all, we can go back to partying for a little bit. Like, it's all good. Everybody, uh, keep partying or whatever. Next thing you know, I go back in the room with my boo because, like... <laughs> I'm not done. We need to kind of finish when we started. You know what I'm saying? So, we in there, y'all... I sit back on his little lap or whatever. And this is how you know I was too young to be doing what I was doing. Because God always come and shine his light. Like he always going to put a stop to shit that I'm not supposed to be doing. So that's the thing with y'all. When y'all judge me on my story time and say I shouldn't be doing X, Y. I don't need y'all to tell me. God already let me know what I should and should not be doing. Because I went in that room, right? And even though I wanted it, I shouldn't have wanted it at such a young age. But that's why it's important to have story times and stuff like this. Because when you're young, y'all can say, people are fast or act too grown but sometimes you can't help how your body feel that's why it's important to have conversations with your kids little girls your little boys at uh, not too early age but when they get to that teenage high school age they need to have these conversations because sometimes our bodies feel ways and we don't know why they feel like that when i saw that night boy left i'm telling y'all I was feeling some things, okay? And I, I'm not even talking about just his, his thing. I was feeling some things that made me want to even do those things with him, y'all, okay? So, whatever. I sat on his lap. Um, but that's why I'm here to describe my my experiences. And maybe if you feel like this, you know, hey, I'm too young to be doing this. Or wait till I get older. Or wait. You know, you never know what people could take. That's why I'm vulnerable. No matter how much y'all judge me or think one way about me, I'm still vulnerable. Because my whole reason for being here is meant to, like, for entertainment, to share my journey with people share my experiences maybe help somebody out maybe somebody don't have an older sibling or older sister or a mother role in their life so they can come to my videos and learn something and we ain't gonna forget the coin you know because and you gotta pay for this type of stuff we get, i got bills around here so we ain't gonna forget the coin too i'm here for the money too as well but i'm here for all of that so i'm still gonna always be vulnerable i don't care if y'all think i'm fast or all i do is talk about niggas and stuff listen it's my channel if you want to hear story times about other stuff, go to other channels. It's really not that hard. But this is why I tell my stories because at that, t even though I had a mom and older siblings and stuff, sometimes you just always don't want to go to them or you don't feel comfortable or you feel like they're going to judge you or whatever. So you might want to hear from other people. But yes, y'all, my 14-year-old self was sitting on that boy lap. We finally kissed. So I don't lie. Uh, the kids felt so good. I didn't want to stop. I did want to go to other things that I shouldn't have been trying to do or had no business even thinking about. Well, you can't help your thoughts. That's what I'm saying. You can't help what you think, but you can help your actions and what you do after you think those thoughts. Okay. So I'm not going to lie. Instead, he didn't lay me down. I'll get to laying him down. Like, I'm sitting on his lap. We kiss. So, I just push him down. So, now I'm on top of him. And, I, yeah. Like, I and I'm sitting here, y'all. Whole version. Whole version. But I'm feeling these things. And I'm like, I want that. I want that right now. I do, I do, I do, y'all. 
But like I said, this how this how God worked. He knew I was too young, and that probably wasn't the right, or not probably, but it wasn't the right time. I'm I'm too busy trying to be grown. As soon as I lay down and you get to touching and feeling and rubbing and loving and all of that, as soon as it's like it was about to go to like that next step. So why my little cousin knock on my door? So I hop up like who knocking the door? So my mind you, my room is dark. So I open the door and my little cousin like, can I get another Capri Sun? I'm like, girl, yes, go get another Capri Sun. Like she like, it's too high in the refrigerator. Da -da, all this. So I'm like, okay, you stay right here. I come out and she like, why are you in the room? I thought y'all was downstairs doing flips and stuff. I'm like, girl, I just had to change my clothes real quick. Like what, what are you talking about? So I'm like, okay, I get her the Capri Sun. So while he in the room, I go downstairs and I um check on my cousin. So my cousin like, you know, it was getting later. So she like the, you know, we about to start letting people leave. So I'm like, okay, yeah, y'all, thanks for coming out. Everybody have fun. Everybody here sweated out. That's how you know it was a time. Yeah, because those blowouts was blown the fuck out. Okay, hair fuzzy, people sweating, clothes drenched. Oh, y'all had a time, huh? Y'all had a good time, right? So we escorting people out, like, all right, y'all, bye, whatever. So she, you know, my cousin talking to her crush, like, all right, bye, hug him, all of that. So we letting everybody go, everybody leaving. So I still got my boo. My boo got his cousin there, too. So they stay behind. So I'm like, you know, you, my, my cousin not ready to talk to the other cousin. We about to figure something out. You know, I'm about to go back in the room with my little crush. So we cleared the premises, y'all. We shut down the party, right? Okay, everybody is leaving. Great. Everybody is gone. We locked down the house. We didn't go in the basement yet because we'll handle that later, right? So we, I go back in the room, y'all. My cousin with the other cousin. So I'm in the room. So I'm like, okay, where do we leave off at? Like, we keep getting interrupted. Like, I'm trying to see what's going on. So we go back to kissing again and stuff. This time he get on top of me. So I'm just like, okay, SpongeBob, move over a little bit. Like, hey, baby, you already got a twin size bed and you taking up a lot of room. So I'm moving SpongeBob over. Like, baby, go on, on scoot over, SpongeBob, close your eyes. <laughs> Put some Krabby Patties in front of your eyes, baby, because stuff is about to go down, okay? So, y'all, here we go again. Again, this is how God work. I'm telling y'all. I, I only can tell the truth, y'all. Nothing but the truth. So, I felt it. And I was like, oh. The worst thing you could kind of do is lose your virginity to a big... Like, where was shrimp at? Y'all remember shrimp? He he, the one I needed to, like, you know. But, and again, we didn't do nothing this night. I'm just saying, like, that's the worst thing you could do. Because I was feeling that. I'm like, wait a minute, this big, this big old thing about to, it's about to go in me? I don't think so. Like, I don't know. But I was going, I, I got to finish with a start. Like, I can't do all this. And now he over here harder than Squidward's clarinet and I gotta figure out what to do with this right because mind you I don't even know what I'm doing I'm just going off what I feel like I don't even know what's going on y'all I get the feeling it I get scared I get nervous I'm like fuck oh my god what I'm about to do with this what happens next my cousin come knocking on my door and she like your sister is home from work Spongebob, help me, help me. So I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, oh, no. Mind you, they're coming in through the side door. The front door, whatever, it's not going to work. So I'm like, get up. Come on, come on, come on. Get up. Y'all, they getting up or whatever. We go in the bathroom, right? We run the shower. We run the shower because we like, y'all got to go out the bathroom window. So we in the bathroom and stuff. So we put them out the bathroom window. We like, go, 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 go. We hear them coming in or whatever. So they like, you know, they like, okay. A cousin y'all here so I'm like yeah we're in the bathroom so you know they're like okay so you know they go in their room and stuff so we come out so I'm like hey y'all whatever so we open up the door my little cousin was asleep so I'm like yeah she in there sleeping stuff so that looking like why she got all these damn snacks right here like this one was a mess so we like well, I don't know whatever so my sister she go in the basement because sometimes when she take her work clothes off she just go put them in the laundry room in the basement so she going downstairs I'm like we didn't even look downstairs to see if it was a mess or what mind you we didn't have no chips or snacks or anything so it wasn't gonna be too much of a mess so we go down there and we follow her downstairs and she like why is this basement like this what the fuck i'm like oh you know my t and them came over you know the cheerleading competition coming up so we was like flipping we moved the couches so we could flip and do the splits and stuff she like oh yeah make sure y'all fix this up and move this shit back like why is it covered on the couch i'm like because like you know everybody can't sit on our couch and stuff and and you, just so I'm like, I don't know, just stop asking. How was work? You had a good day flipping? You, you was good? So she's like, oh, okay, whatever. My oldest sister, she's so careless. She's like, oh, okay, whatever. So we thinking like, we 
got away with it. My little cousin sleeps, so we in the basement now. So we just like straightening up, cleaning up, whatever. It wasn't even no mess. Like we good. We moving the couches back. Everything cool. So my older sister, she had went back outside, right? Because she was, I think, I guess she left something in her car. So she go back outside to the car, right? And she like, she come back in with a bottle, an empty bottle. So she like, why was this empty bottle just sitting on our front porch? So we like, huh? I don't know. Mind you, it wasn't my mama bottle. It wasn't like no Ciroc or nothing. I think it was like 1800 So I'm like... I don't know. I'm like, you know, school let out today. So, you know, a bunch of kids do be in our neighborhood. So, I'm like, maybe somebody just try to sit that there and leave. I don't really know. So, and then we don't look drunk because none of us is drunk. So, she like, right? Like, who? What was going on? So, she just was like, whatever. She threw it away. So, I'm thinking like, who the fuck was sitting an empty bottle on my damn front porch? Why would y'all do that? So, she threw that away or whatever. So, we like, cool. We think we got away with it. I'm texting my crush. She like, yeah, we made it home. So, everything is good. So, I'm like, okay, cool. So, we just talking about the night. And you know, he like, yeah, we got to finish what we started and all this other stuff. So, I'm like, okay, like, whatever. So, me and my cousin, we just talking about it. Like, we had a good time. Everything good. Everything worked out, y'all. Tell me why. Time passed, whatever. We think we got away with it. Everything good. So, time going on. My sister ain't said nothing. We cleaned up everything. Everything is good, right? So, mind you, at this time, my mom was with my stepdaddy. They both went out of town together. My stepdaddy come back, you know, everything cool. A couple days go by. He down in the basement playing his game. I forgot if it was a PlayStation or Xbox, because y'all know I don't know about that stuff. But he playing, he trying to play his game. So, he come up. He like, mind you, I'm just sitting in the um, kitchen, whatever, with my mama. He come up and he like, why the back piece of my PlayStation missing? So, we like, what? So, he just like. What happened like over the weekend when we was gone because the I guess I forgot y'all but is it the memory card or the memory slot something can be detached from the back of an Xbox or PlayStation whichever one he like the back piece of that is missing so I'm just sitting there like I don't know like it's been a couple days we had a couple people over I guess not nobody that would be in the basement but I'm like oh, well, I don't know what happened to that nobody touched that Xbox because who would touch that and he, they, he just was over there looking and they, y'all still to this day so if they ever watch this I still I never would tell that we had that party and that's how that Xbox slash PlayStation memory card back piece whatever it is back there came up missing but my thing is why did my goofy self didn't think to take the Xbox in the back room too I'm not thinking nobody gonna try to take the Xbox so I didn't even remember move it from the entertainment center because I didn't even know how to plug it up or because it because it was like plugged up in the back of the wall and then we had this big entertainment center so it would have been kind of like hard to detach but I wasn't even thinking about it but for whatever bum ass fucking friend from school why would you take the back piece of my stepdaddy xbox and if y'all know what that is or if it's the memory slot back there or if it's the battery to charge whatever it is back there y'all comment down but they took the back piece of that why would y'all still at my house but y'all I took that to the grave well before I told the story time I was like y'all I'm like I don't know what happened whatever like I don't know I'm just sitting there like mm, 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 mm. and they just always was looking like something had to happen over the weekend but they didn't know if it was me if it was my older two sisters they don't know who it was so they let it go and he ended up just getting another one y'all but listen if you go to people parties do not steal do not steal from me what are you talking about and who left that 1800 bottle on my porch like what? what? And Tia, why was you in my backyard doing nasty things? And why was I trying to be in my room next to SpongeBob doing nasty things? It's a lot of questions, okay? But yeah, y'all, so we end up getting away with it. And it's funny now because it's like a run on joke. Me and my cousin now, we be saying like, oh, we too grown for whooping. So we be like slowly telling my mama or like our mamas like the bad things we used to do when we was younger. And it just be so funny because it's like, what you gonna do now, ma? So now let me stop. So she... Because she smacked the black off me or something. You know, you never know. These black moms, you, you never too old to do anything. So, you know what? Because I still can't even cuss in front of my mama. So, let me be quiet. Hopefully, she don't watch this. Love you, mom. But, yes, y'all, that is the end of my story time. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Make sure you thumbs up this video, comment down below, and make sure you are subscribed. And, y'all, this is going to be the last story time for Black History Month. So, let me go ahead and give my last shout out, okay? All right, y'all. So, my last shout out is going to go to Valerie Thomas, okay? They said, have you seen any 3D movies lately? You know why? It's because of a black woman named Valerie Thomas. She was an inventor and a NASA data analyst. When she wasn't busy managing the Landsat program, which has produced millions of images of Earth, she was inventing the technology which went on to become the premise for more advanced TV screens in modern 3D technology. 
I never knew that, y'all. In the late 70s, Thomas discovered that convey mirrors can create the illusion of three-dimensional objects and began experimenting with how she could visually transmit the 3D illusion. And in 1980, Thomas invented her illusion transmitter. So she is responsible for the 3D movies that y'all see today. And if y'all don't know nothing else about me, y'all know what? Your girl love movies. I like 3D movies too, but I love all movies. So shout out to her because I never knew that a black woman invented 3D movies. Like we so cool. Do y'all not understand how cool we is? So shout out to you, Miss Thomas. We appreciate you, okay? But y'all already know. Until next time. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.